Thanks for staying with us. We are staying on the topic of the casinos reopening on June 1st, and we want to bring in one of the regional leaders uh, downstate, Norwich Mayor Peter Nystrom, is our second guest this morning. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so you're supportive of the casinos reopening on June 1st. We know the governor uh, not super happy about the casinos deciding to reopen on what he would be call early. I know um, we just spoke with Rodney Butler, who says we need to kind of take a look at what's defined as early. But tell us what your stance is on the casinos reopening. Uh, I support them reopening. Uh, Norwich has taken a very heavy hit. 11% of our population is employed at either one of the two casinos. Uh, in the first week of unemployment, due to the COVID-19, uh, 3,700 people filed for unemployment here within the city. Uh, they are an integral part of our community. They're great neighbors. Um, it, we very much need them to begin to reopen. I've been in touch with them, and I know that they're prepared to do so. They've been working with Yale in order to provide the greatest health opportunity there to protect their customers and their employees. Tell me what, what's happened in Norwich because of COVID-19 and the economic impact. I know that you had said the number of people in your city that have had to apply for unemployment, which is high. It's, it's some of the highest in the, in the state. So what have people been dealing with? What are you hearing from your constituents? Uh, everyone is, you know, trying to do the best they can. The people in Norwich have responded very strongly and complied with the COVID-19 request of the governor when he issued the number of executive orders that you know, have really altered the life here. But everyone has uh, been cooperative. And we're asking that the governor be cooperative with the two tribal nations and actually see firsthand the effort they have made to prepare for this opening. Um, they have invested heavily in healthcare technology, and they have, have prepared for this in a very meaningful way. Yeah, well, what's your opinion on the governor saying, you know, they shouldn't be doing that at this point, or them going against kind of his wishes? Do you feel like it's a lack of understanding? I think it's a lack of communication. Uh, I've been told by one of the parties, uh, one of the tribal nations, that the governor has never visited, he's never seen or experienced what's happening there, and uh, he needs to get out of Hartford, not leave it to or delegate it to subordinates or even commissioners at different departments, and go see the effort they've made to open safely. There's a concern with the casinos. I know Dr. Ko was saying during one of the press conferences that it's kind of the perfect storm because not only do you have people from Connecticut who may go and visit the casino, but you may have people from out of state. We know that Mohegan Sun as well as uh, Foxwoods has said they're not going to be accepting buses, but they will be expecting accepting rather people driving in from New York, driving in from other states. And that's kind of a melting pot of people joining there. What's your take on that? I think uh, one must take into consideration the extraordinary efforts that they have made to make it safe, the experience. Anyone who walks through the door, their temperature is taken immediately by infrared technology. Anyone with a temperature based on the uh, COVID-19 recommendations that exceeds that is going to be actually taken out of line and they'll be stopped and they'll be taken, given a temperature reading again. I don't know the duration afterwards, but anyone that is found to have a temperature is, is going to be turned away. Are you hearing from employees uh, at the casinos who don't want to return because they're worried about pre-existing health conditions? I have not heard from employees. I've heard from uh, businesses in the Norwich community who depend heavily on the commerce that takes place at both tribal nations and the casinos. Um, we are very much dependent on them. United Nuclear closed years ago. Back then, there was a downsize of electric boat. And were it not for these two casinos coming into play um, in operating, you might have had an Appalachia over here in southeastern Connecticut. 
you know, what are you looking at in the long term here in southeastern Connecticut? I mean, we know that this health crisis is not done. We could see a resurgence in the fall. And we understand the economic impact is not good. But what are you forecasting for the summer and for the fall and beyond that? Is it going to take a lot to dig out of this hole in your community? Our community has been heavily hit. Uh, the Norwich Public Utilities in the first month saw a 21% decline in revenue. Uh, in the last week, that has started to turn around. Uh, but without that commerce taking place there, without people working, disposable income clearly has been impacted. Um, we need them to be operating, certainly safely. If anyone is concerned about their health, I would advise them to stay away. If they're a high risk group, don't go there. No one's making anyone return to that site. What do you think about the state and its response to COVID-19? Do you think the governor's done uh, as well as a job as possible with this certain situation? I think because of the extraordinary impact of COVID-19, mostly I think he's done a very good job. Um, I think there should be a greater acknowledgement that here in Eastern Connecticut, the numbers are down, uh, clearly much lower than other parts of our state. That doesn't mean you throw caution to the wind, but I think you have to acknowledge the efforts that the people have made out here in Eastern Connecticut to let, not let this virus take hold as it has happened in other parts of our state. And we all understand why it happens. The relationship between Fairfield County and New York because of employment is enormous. And clearly that has had a detrimental impact uh, on that part of the state, but that has not occurred here yet. Uh, no one is putting aside the COVID-19 uh, requirements. If they in fact open, and I believe they will, people will be required to provide social distancing. Um, masks are required. Uh, they're not opening the entire casino. It's a very limited opening. And they're doing so in acknowledgement of the need to be safe. Yeah, southeastern Connecticut was a different story than par other parts of Connecticut, as you just discussed, Fairfield County in particular. Do you think that Connecticut should have reopened on a regional basis? I know the governor had felt like a regional basis wasn't a good idea just because Connecticut's a small state. But since you're from a community that's in a lower hit area, is that something that you think would have been helpful if you had been able to open certain businesses a week or two ago? <laughs> Uh, I support the way it was done. I, I don't think playing one region against the other made any sense. You would have encouraged that type of traffic that we earlier spoke about. And we've already seen some flight from New York, people coming into the coast towns here in southeastern Connecticut, uh, escaping from the New York experience. And, and no one can blame them for that. I, I think the way it has been handled is appropriate. But with a soft opening now as of yesterday on the 20th of this month for some restaurants who have outdoor dining and such, I, I think it's time to take a stronger look. Look at the example of electric boat. The number of cases down there are exceedingly low when you compare the number of employees that are in and out of the yards at Quonset as well as down in Groton. How do you think reopening went on Wednesday in your city? It was slow. But I can tell you that the restaurants that I visited and I, I drove around those that I didn't stop at, all were experiencing patrons who were coming out. Um, it isn't expected to be, you know, full throttle in any way. And, and people are proceeding with caution. There are a lot of people that are still staying home. And, and I support those decisions if that's what their choice is. Are you getting enough PPE in the area? Do restaurants and other businesses feel like they're protected in that way from the state? I don't believe there's a shortage for those restaurants that are participating in the soft opening as of yet, but we'll always be concerned about that. And we're, we're working to bring more of that into our area. Our first responders have adequate uh, PPE at this time. They have good connections, good resources. So I'm very comfortable on their behalf uh, to know that they have the PPE they need in order to respond and do their jobs. Well, we'll certainly see what happens with uh, the casinos set to reopen on June 1st. And just curious, I was thinking about this. Do you know how much of your city at this point 
has filed for unemployment. I know you told me initially in the first week uh, when you know businesses shut down what it was, but as of right now, do you know how much of your city is facing unemployment? Uh, there's a statewide graph, and in that graph, no, which is unemployment, is rated 17 to 36 percent. Uh, that's pretty high impact. That is. That's some of the highest uh, in the state of Connecticut. Well, Mayor, you are always welcome on The Real Story. Go ahead. I was just going to cite that Norwich is not the only town. Most neighboring towns adjacent to Norwich in all directions are experiencing the same level of unemployment. Right, in that region in southeastern Connecticut. All right, well, we really appreciate you coming on The Real Story. Please keep us updated, and we will watch as uh, the casinos begin to reopen on June 1st, as well as the region and the state in general. Always welcome on the program, uh, Norwich Mayor Peter Nystrom. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Stay well. All right, that's going to do it for The Real Story this morning. If you want to watch one of these segments again, you're going to go to fox61.com where we will have them for you. Please all be well, stay healthy, and we'll be here for you again next week. Have a good one.